This is my lovely wife, Grace. Hi, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Where are you from? Italy. This is your wife? <laughs> yes. Wow, you did well. And this is? Dominica, the daughter. daughter. Okay, wonderful. And this is? My I'm Linda. My brother's wife. That's my wife. husband, Antonio. Antonio. How are you? No, very good, Dan. Uh, Pleasure Tony, to meet Tony, you. what would you like to be called? No, I go by Tony. Tony. Okay, great. Uh, let's sit down and let's have a catch up, shall we? I'm glad that Chef Ramsay is here to help us because uh, this is a family restaurant and we shouldn't be a split family restaurant. First of all, I'm here to help. And I can't help unless I know what's with wrong. What's wrong with the restaurant? We had a, a phenomenal leader, and the leader was my father. He was in the front. Him and I, we're always on the same page. And where's your father now? Where is he? He's in Italy, retired. So no one's actually ever stepped into your father's shoes? Well, I have. But I think what has happened is no one has any uh, idea what is needed in this restaurant. We're in a position to lose everything. So who runs it now? I'm the, I'm the guy in charge right now. Well, no, on, on the way we run it is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I run the place. And then on uh, Thursday nights through Sunday nights, uh, they run the place. Wow, it's crazy. How does a family restaurant not run as a family? They don't get along. Because you don't belong in this restaurant. It's a trauma. Yeah. When you have laziness, it's an infection. What happens is when Tony is here and Linda is here, they have no understanding that number one is the customer. No sitting around. No looking at the TV. Watching TV when customers come? Is that true? I don't, I don't think it's true. Tony, he don't care about the customer. He was sitting and played the computer. I care about this restaurant. No, I don't think he had the computer here. He talk with the computer, come on! Complaints are that people feel neglected. Yeah, but there's also complaints like, I don't want to come there when she's there. Customers don't want to come when you're working. What's all that about? I don't know. It's I mean, a... I'm just asking her. Listen, I'm... I... She's got people that she kisses ass to and they love her. She's got other people that she gets bl blunt in her face and hate her. Is it right to just basically go up to the customer and just say, fuck know. you, get the fuck out of here? No! I don't say that! I don't say fuck you! Don't tell me this about shit, okay? Say that to that's what you said. No, I didn't say fuck you. This is uh, what happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did right. What did you do wrong? I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I mean, I, I wasn't here. Did she what say fuck doing? you? Did she not say fuck you? I thought right. she did. Oh, I didn't hear fuck you, no. Oh, yeah, she did. What, what did, did you hear? I didn't say that. She said that to you. You no, forget. No, she got it. What into... did you let her forget for? You gotta be honest. I'm being you honest. Do to help you or not? I'm trying to get him to help. Well, then say the way it is. I am. No, you're not. You're lying. I'm not lying. You guys yeah, are lying. I think she fucked you. You think so? She did. Okay, I, she did I, say fuck well, you. Then fucking wrong. That's all. We are losing the business. Because of his. Because of his. No, see, this is why we don't get along. <laughs>